You know what, you hear these amazing stories, yeah, of this one guy who walks around boasting and bragging, oh, you know what, I only did my revision the night before the exam and I passed. There's a month ahead, I'm going to be tough, tears will happen, joys at the end of it though, if you do it right. Let's move on to the GCSE students. Um, I'll start by giving them something. Guys, focus on number and algebra, all right? So we're talking about 55% of the content approximately is number and algebra across all three papers. Make sure you ace those topics first. I mean, the other stuff, shape, space and measures, Pythagoras' theorem and all that stuff that's inside there, data handling, it makes up, you know, the rest of the content. Do focus on them. Obviously, if you want to hit the grade eights and nines, you need to know everything. Okay, that's given. But if you're, you know, trying to aim for that grade six, seven, you have to know your number and algebra inside out. Okay, so make sure you focus on the number and algebra topics primarily. And then once you've mastered enough of that content, then you can move on to those other uh, branches in shape, space and measures, data handling, probability, that sort of stuff. What would you say? Um, I, I agree, because um, once you get your algebra schools, isn't it? Because I'm, algebra is used in other questions that are from shape, space and measures, probability, Even et cetera, rearranging, et rearranging, literally, most problems, I mean, you have to formulate an equation and use algebra schools to manipulate. And factorizing and quadratics, exactly. yeah. All right, and factorizing is a huge skill, isn't it? It doesn't only come up on its own question, it comes up in several of these questions. Even even, even even in A-level, like, you have to, you know, to solve a, an, a, a function, like to find a turning point, for example, you have to factorize it into two separate functions mm. and then the functions themselves have to be equal to zero so you then solve separate Qu functions quadratic factorizing still function comes up. so that's our message we wish you guys all the best i know you're gonna you prop some of you who haven't started already this is a message for you guys yeah get off your bums and start working guys start making yourselves you know routine you need to have a routine like whether it is three four days a week at home your own independent study, going over old content, retaining inf old information, you need to get that started. You Don't to, wait. You need to make it a second nature because the more you practice... Some of these you, guys, they start revising a month before the exam. Some of these guys are week before may, the exam. Maybe, maybe GCC, Crazy guys. Yeah. Some of, you know what, you hear these amazing <laughs> stories, yeah, of this one guy who, who, who walks around boasting and bragging, oh, you know what, I only did my revision the night before the exam and I passed. They're one off. They're exceptional. All right, stories. Not everybody have. Not everyone right. goes through experiences you need, you like need that. To train Don't yourself. listen to them. You need to, Don't listen you need to, to them. Need to train yourself from from a long run. Yeah, so you, and, until and it now how many months left? Now? Five months now, isn't it? Five months, five or six months yeah. before the last exam. Yeah. So get cracking, guys. I think it's five months. What am I talking about? Yeah. So get cracking now. Start yeah, making five, that routine. Get used to it, because the months ahead are going to be tough. Tears will happen. Yeah. Joys at the end of it, though, if you do it right. And also forgot to mention, we will be reviewing the papers just like last year. Okay, so do stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe. We'll have all the uh, last year's papers, the solutions, walk for solutions for both GCSE and A-level done as well, right? You're going to get that done, right? We'll do it together. You'll do it together, yeah? All right, guys. All right, take care, man.